Uh, hi, this is Siliti Money here with another quick update on Lucid Motors. Uh, today we've got the news that uh, everyone's been waiting for. So we finally got the confirmation. Uh, so this is from PRNewsWire.com. So the news just came out a couple of hours ago. Uh, so it confirms the merger with uh, Lucid. So I suggest you do the reading. It's quite long. So I will just go through the bullet point as usual. All right, so the deal values um, the combined entity of Lucid at $24 billion, which is much higher than expected compared to previous announcement or rumors. Now there's gonna be some pipe investments. So pipe investment is gonna be roughly $2.5 billion. And uh, from CCIV is gonna be another 2 point something billion. So in total, Lucid is gonna receive roughly Four point four billion dollars in cash. Now, this again, it's it's a really high valuation, but then again, it's in line with with the with the rumor basically, or other opinion. So they valued Lucid at just under Neo, which is fairly okay-ish. So again. Uh, I suggest you do the full reading because it's quite interesting and it is very long. So I'm going to talk about what happened after the news. Because as soon as the news came out, the share price tanked by 30%. So it was pretty much stable uh, for the whole day. Then towards the announcement, around 6 o'clock, that's when the announcement came. And bang, it dropped from $59 to just under 30 and it settled at $40, uh, yeah, $40 uh, after hours. It didn't touch 30, it went just uh, as low as, what is it, $39. Okay, so uh, now that we've got the news, so how do you play this? Um, because the valuation came in uh, higher than expected, so you kind of have to give that discount on the share price. So therefore you, get, you had a 30% reduction. But overall, in if you think about the long term, the company itself is great. Nothing's changed apart from the valuation. And going forward, Lucid's, they're just literally a few weeks away from producing the first cars. And I think in the long run, it's gonna do very, very well. Again, that's my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. You don't have to listen to anything I say. You should do your own DD. And um, yeah, if you enjoy my channel, guys, please don't uh, forget to subscribe and hit the like button. That usually helps out with the channel and the YouTube algorithm. So until further news or announcement, this is it from Silly Money. Goodbye.